I'm Alan Doderlein with the Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance and we're talking today about dual diagnosis and joining me for that conversation is Nikki. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. So what does dual diagnosis mean? For those who don't know, tell us what that means. Um, dual diagnosis depression means that you have more than one mental or addiction disorder um, besides depression. Like in my case, um, addiction, drug and alcoholism, um, PTSD and anxiety as well. And tell us about what that experience is like, you know, balancing many different concerns and, and different treatment protocols, just a lot of different things. Um, what is that like for you? Um, well, I was depressed for many years, um, but as of like about six months ago, my depression got completely out of control. With it was my anxiety. I had social anxiety. Um, I didn't realize I was suffering from PTSD and um, my addiction was at its worst. There would be up to two weeks at a time where I wouldn't leave the house. Wow. Um, I stopped taking care of myself completely. It would be maybe a week or so before I would even think about taking a shower. Like I just did not care about anything except sleeping and using. And, and we hear a lot, uh, and I think it's a, a common term, you know, in, in popular use, the, the idea of self-medicating. Was that at play? I mean, I think that that, that can be true sometimes. Was, was that true in your case? Absolutely. So what kinds of things were helped by the substance use? What, what, what was beneficial in terms of self-medication? I didn't have to think those negative thoughts, um, those sometimes suicidal thoughts, uh, any um, memories that I was trying to repress and run from. Um, I just, I didn't have to feel. What is the impact of the depression and the substance use on your relationships? What did you experience with your partner or family and friends? Um, family and friends didn't really know. Mm. I, I didn't feel like I wanted to burden them with that. Um, and my partner, I mean, she always knew that something was wrong and that I was depressed, but she didn't realize to the extent. Mm. Um, she had no idea how ill I really was when I finally went into the hospital. She got to a point where um, after 10 years, she was about to leave me, and uh, unless I got help, so. And tell us about the, the moment that you, or, or the process of getting help. I was having an extremely bad day one day, and my partner suggested that I call my therapist, and I did, and she pointed me in the direction of the hospital. So I stayed in the hospital, and um, the hospital allowed me to basically sober up long enough to be able to think clearly for the first time in many, many years and to come to the realization that I really did need help. Mm. From there, I went into intensive outpatient treatment, um, which is um, three hours a day, five days a week of intensive group therapy. And basically what I got from that was the strength to proceed with my treatment, this journey that I'm taking to get over some of the issues that I've had in the past. So in your consultation with the various uh, different professionals that you would see, what kind of a treatment plan and what kind of wellness practices did you all arrive at as, as being right for you? Well, I go to a few different support groups, um, one for uh, depression, one for um, sobriety, one for um, adult survivors of childhood abuse. Um, I see a psychiatrist once every couple of weeks. I see my therapist once a week. I am on medication for depression and anxiety, um, non-narcotic. And um, I just stay really busy and active. I, I started working out, I joined a gym. I do not sit at home and isolate, which is probably the worst thing I can mm. do. That's what I have been using. And also, as of right now, I just stay away from any kind of drugs or alcohol completely. Mm -hmm. um, my partner has completely given up drinking. She didn't have a problem with it, but she doesn't want it in the house or near me in any way whatsoever. Maybe later on down the road, that won't be such a problem. But for now, 
I just don't even want to be near it. To just have it completely uh, away from yes. your life. Do you have any advice for people that might be in that crisis moment that you found yourself when, when you know, partner might leave you, you're not working, your um, substance use is out of control. Um, how can you get from that situation to the place of wellness that you are now? It's all about being open and honest with your treatment and with yourself, um, accepting the help um, willingly, you know, um, reaching out to friends and family. I really just want people to know that, you know, there is help and the treatment does work. Um, I used to feel so, I was so far gone that nobody could help me. I was, I was in too deep, nobody could help me. But that's not true. I mean, it, it really is achievable. What, what an inspiring message and a great story. Thank you so much for sharing, Nikki, about dual diagnosis. Thank, Thank you. you.